I don't like orange. It's not particularly my favorite color to paint with. Now, with reds and yellows and it mixed in, absolutely. But just not my thing. Now, what do you call cheese that isn't yours? Nacho cheese, right? But is nacho cheese orange or is it yellow? Is Cranacridone Nickel Azo Gold really gold? Or is it orange? The world may never know. All right, so I'm using a pillow that I normally don't use, my Glendon Essentials, and God, so clumpy. Clumps all over the place. I'm just a fishing, trying to get all the clumps out. Just a squirrel trying to get a nut. Okay, okay, okay. Enough with all the shenanigans. So, you know that I'm a part of the Pouring from Coast to Coast collab. And this week, we've been challenged with using our least favorite color. I'm pushing my pillow back in so I can have something to blow out. Um, I debuted what I call a new technique. And really what it is is just a conglomeration of all the techniques out there. Um, this is the stretch Dutch bloom, if you will ideally or what I thought it to be was a zoomed in or magnified piece of a Dutch pour. But it, it looks like a whole bunch of other different things that you see all across YouTube. So I'm laying down my colors here. This is Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold. However, we were challenged to use three different oranges because this gold, this, this orange is called gold. This is not a part of my three. You saw the first two, and I made a terracotta color out of leftover paint. Um, it started out as a dark brown, and I'm like, let me lighten this thing up, and that is what we got. So I'm laying it out, and I'm going to blow it out, okay? And for a little contrast, I'm going to add an additional color on top. You'll have to wait and see what that is. But for now, just enjoy me painting. <laughs> And I'm not putting this on in any ram or reason, ram fashion or reason, um, but more so to cover and make sure that the pillow doesn't pop up too much when I go to blow this out with my hair dryer. Um, I want to get those really nice, thick, wispy lines. And when we use our cell activator, um, the cells can really just do as they please. Um, it's not like we're trying to get an actual bloom. We're trying to spread that cell activator out as much as possible. And I've gotten ahead of myself. I didn't even do my introduction. Welcome to the Feel Good Porn Station. This is Garrett Brown Art Studio. Aren't you glad you stopped by? <laughs> so for contrast, I went with black. So just black, white, and many shades of orange and gold, if you will, <laughs> in this piece. And I decided to add a bunch of iridescence to change the black to see if I can get a little shimmer. So this is what I added, baby. All right, to my oxide black. We have a bunch of different brands and I just got super excited. I mean, woo, this painting is gonna be hot. So I'm hoping that when we blow it out and it dries, we get like a dark, shimmery black just to add some interest. And hopefully, you know, we'll put a little resin on top to give it more razzle dazzle. All right. So I'm going to put my black here down. And I don't want it to take over the entire piece. So my goal was not to cover everything in black, um, but I do want black to be present. Do want black to be present. So after I do this, I'm going to use my cell activator and you're going to really see that halo effect that people talk about um, in this particular painting before we blow it out. And as I sit here, check out that little drip there. <laughs> 
It is. Orange and brown really the same color? Like, really? Because if you have a dark orange, that's really just brown. I'm really taking this orange thing serious, as you guys can tell. <laughs> um, so here I'm just adding a little bit of uh, more paint because, you know, with a Dutch pour, when they blow it out, you know, the paint goes both ways. And so we're actually going to blow out the long side, which is the side I'm prepping, and then we'll blow out the short side after. All right, just a little torch for the bubbles. And doing this, it really creates some majestic flow of this piece, in my humble opinion. Um, you'll see that in just a few moments, but this is my cell activator. Um, right now, this is giving very much Halloween pumpkin vibes. <laughs> but we're going to change that. And now I'm just adding color on the other side so that we can blow it out when the time comes. Once again, there's no specific way that I'm layering the colors here. Just going with the flow. Love the wispy lines um, with this technique. Uh, it wasn't like an idea to get a whole lot of cells, and you're gonna see we're gonna lose a lot of the cells from that second blowout. But when you stretch it all out, it really gives you the majestic feel that I'm going for, and just blowing 
um, some more cells in the cell activator because you do have a lot of cell activator left over and how I blow it out, you know, going both sides. But you'll see these little pieces that I'm blowing when it, uh, when I spin, they open up and it really gives a cool effect. And you're going to have a lot of white left over and I really like it. So if you peek at that left corner, I forgot to put some paint there to help it flow. So as we were spinning, that paint was barely moving. So think about that anytime you're spinning. Um, it just really helps with the flow of the paint. Just a little tip if you didn't know. If you like the cells you're seeing, you should check out the video with my new and latest pouring medium. All right, the link is in the description. So family, I need your help. I'm trying to decide if I like the negative space here. Um, I go to blow out and I'm like, ooh, I like that. But I don't really have enough canvas, and when I'm spinning in, it's going to go away. Uh, but tell me in the comments, do you think this piece could use more negative space? All right, friends, what do you think of so far? I love how we pulled that black all the way to this canvas and that azo nickel gold on this corner is popping. Okay. Loving these sails. Loving the wispy and just the mixing of the colors. I'm just really, really loving this piece and digging this technique. All right. So I need y'all's opinions in the comment section. Everything we talked about today, um, I'm feeling a little better about orange. <laughs> uh, I want to remind you that I have released a new collection on my website, GarrettBrownArtStudio.com, and that I love you to the moon and back. Just give you a couple more views. Of course, we need to scrape our bottoms. Don't forget that. And actually, I really like what happens when I scrape my bottoms. What uh, what shows up 
I wish I could blow this up into a bigger painting. Um, but remember, do every single thing with love. Treat your friends, your family, and even your enemies with love. I will see you in another video very soon. Aren't you glad you came?